because they knew that would whip up and inflame tensions. When Muslims are under attack, what do we do? What do we do? No, this protest, this this counter demonstration, it was peaceful. We're here to say that we're, you know, we're kicking fascists off the streets. We're standing up for our communities. It's not to incite violence or hatred. It's to come together. And I think people need to understand if you're coming to protest against anti-fascism and against anti-racism you need to understand it's not about violence that's what the fascists want they use violence because that's the, what's, that's the only thing they have they lacked in Uh, so today we were just at a protest uh, outside a uh, refugee um, centre because there was supposed to be a demonstration by uh, the EDL um, and they were going to attack this centre based on the fact that well, it's an immigration centre. And so the community came out today to yeah, help prote uh, protect the, the refugees here and, and let them know that they're welcome uh, and that we wouldn't allow you know, these fascist thugs to, to attack them. Still, I think we still need to do more. I think we scared them off tonight, but we still need to organize um, you know, actual groups that can protect these communities. Like we just showed up as a protest for a, a, a few hours, but we need to actually organize as a community against, um, against these attacks because we might have been there um, you know, a few hours ago, but right now there's no one there at the, at the um, yeah, to protect uh, people. So what we need, we need to do is do more than the protest. We need to organise ourselves. Has provided the ground for this to fester. Um, the issue is, we need government to show strong leadership and deal with this issue of racism once and for all. We are a multicultural, multicolored, multifaceted society. And it's time now that that is embraced, not celebrated, embraced. And that's the most important thing. We need to put an end to this. And one thing I'm prepared to do, I've even sat down with Tommy Robinson before, quite happy to do it again. Have those difficult conversations because that's the only way we are going to make our streets safer. When I see women saying, I am not going out today. When I see kids not wanting to go out to play, is this the future of Britain? No way, not on my watch. This is Birmingham, it's a, it's a proud city, uh, black, white and brown, uh, all sorts of religions, all sorts of nations, and it's times like this where we all stand together and we stand against racism, Islamophobia, we stand against that as one. As you can see here today, there's people from all over the city and we're here to show everyone, not only in Birmingham, but across the country, that Birmingham is a safe space for everybody to go about your business. And whenever we call a gathering like this, it's not a gathering for violence or to fight anybody. It's a gathering of unity to show all the families out there that they are absolutely safe.